To participate in PostDAO staking on XDAI, you'll need to get your stake tokens onto the XDAI network. You can acquire stake directly on XDAI or move stake that you have on Ethereum onto the XDAI chain. To acquire on XDAI, you can use a DEX like HoneySwap Exchange at HoneySwap.org. Depending on liquidity there, you can trade other tokens on XDAI for stake on XDAI. We won't go over HoneySwap here. For more information on the OneHive team, see about.onehive.org. For the rest of this video, we'll focus on moving stake from Ethereum to XDAI using the Omni Bridge. This bridge can be used to move any ERC20s from Ethereum to XDAI and back. We'll start by connecting the bridge to Ethereum. We can change networks in the interface. We should see ETH mainnet on the left side of the bridge and XDAI chain on the right side. Next, we can connect our Web3 wallet. We'll use MetaMask in this example. We select the account we want to connect to and click Next, then Connect to our account. On the ETH mainnet side of the bridge, we've already got stake selected. To choose a token, click on the drop down arrow and find your token or use the search box. Moving stake requires two transactions. The first will unlock the token and approve the contract to make the transfer. We'll click Unlock and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. We'll need some ETH for this process and more for the second transaction. I'm going to speed up the processing time here a bit. The whole process usually takes a couple of minutes. Stake is unlocked and ready to move. We'll click Transfer and continue with the process. We can see the gas price here. It's high, but soon we'll be on XDAI, so we confirm to continue. Next, we'll see this confirmation tracker and can click on the link to view the transaction using the monitoring application. As we can see, the current bridge validators are still waiting to process the transaction. Let's speed it up a little. In real time, this can take a few minutes. Another thing we can check during the transaction is the transaction hash and etherscan. You can find this in the monitoring application. And as we can see, the transaction is successful on the Ethereum side. Now we're just waiting for bridge validators to complete the transfer. All right, looks like the transfer is done. Let's check the monitoring app. Yes, you can see success here. Two validators have approved. The third shows a failed transaction, but that's only because the first two were successful. So we've transferred stake from Ethereum to XDAI. I'll switch my MetaMask back to the XDAI chain and we'll see if it's there. We can't see it yet. We need to add stake to our wallet. We go to add token and we'll want to add the custom address. We can actually search for stake here, but this is stake on Ethereum and it won't show up on XDAI. I'll go through it here, but we don't need to add this on the XDAI chain. Instead, we'll go to custom token and add in the stake on XDAI address. I can get the address from Block Scout. Let me show you that briefly. Here in Block Scout, I use the search feature to quickly find stake on XDAI. I can see the details and I'll copy the address. To confirm this is the correct token, I can also view stake on Ethereum with this link that takes me to Etherscan. Back in my wallet, I'll paste in the stake address. The details will populate and I click next. I can see both stake here. The first one I added has zero balance and the custom stake has the amount I transferred. And can click on the one I want to hide Press this menu to hide the token. Now we've got our stake on XDAI ready for use, but we don't have any XDAI in this account yet. We'll need to get a little bit for processing our stake transactions. We can get XDAI on HoneySwap as well. Use ramp.network to buy it with fiat or the XDAI bridge to bridge DAI to XDAI. We won't go over the XDAI bridge here. Please see xdiechain.com for more information or go to bridge.xdiechain.com to bridge your die directly.